this was a more, let's say, technical side of Lower Austria. Let me switch shortly to another side of Lower Austria. It's also tourism. We have talked about tourism, about Wachau. You said Wachau is one of the regions that is an important uh, touristic region within uh, Lower Austria, but there are others too. And uh, I, have not, I don't have it on my, on my presentation. But there are also concepts. It's like uh, e-mobility. That means there was a new concept starting now in the Wachau region to, be let, to be develop and get new initiatives for this region. Uh, the e-mobility, that means you can move now in this region by means of e-mobility. So we combine like touristic development with new issues in, in the energy field. Uh, here you can, I pointed out mainly the wine. I think that's something that people are interested in. And I didn't know, I didn't know it myself before I looked for it. It's Lower Austria is the largest region in Austria for Wine, 62% are in Low Austria, even I learned this. And it's a very diverse um, structure with diff uh, and wines. So there are, some of you will know them, like the Grüner Ventliner or the Riesling. Shortly, our, um, uh, our government was in, low, uh, in America, and the Grüner, it's not Grüner, but Grüner, is well known even in the United States now. And it's where my competence then starts, it's also for us an issue for exportation and to internationalize uh, this field. Another point, because if you come to Lower Austria in autumn, think that there are also great events celebrating the wine. It's the Weinherbst, and this I learned too, it's the biggest initiative worldwide in the field of wine. And it's like over 100 entities in Lower Austria are celebrating together everything that has to do with wine. And there are like nearly over 800 events just focusing on wine. So if you are there, take a look on it. It might be very interesting. Uh, wine, I said, it's something that concerns us, my competence field, it's internationalization. And I will. I talked about this already, that uh, it was very important from 2004 on that we, fo we were focusing very much on the neighboring regions. It was a strategy to say we will use the, the, the potential that the neighboring countries have. We will focus our strategy on these countries. The neighboring countries at the beginning, it was like this central region, like Czech Republic, Slovakia, Hungary. Then with the EU, we went further. We went to Poland. We went to Romania in 2007, and when, uh, when we say we went there, that means uh, ECO Plus installed uh, offices there so that the small and medium-sized companies have, together with the Trade Commissioner, have people to, who can help them to get into the country to see what is the potential, to show them what they can do, and to help them to get into business. Uh, 2010, we started in Sofia together with Petroslav, with the European Management Center, to cooperate with the EMC in order to offer the same services as in the other countries. We have like 250 companies per year that we help to get into new markets, but focusing on five, and now with Bulgaria, six markets. Most of them are... SMEs, small and medium-sized companies. That's the structure of the Austrian of the Austrian um, economy. Also the same in Bulgaria. I think it's like 99% are SMEs. Uh, they have very specific needs. We are, we don't talk about, about million million of investment sums. That must be clear. We don't. Our normal client is not talking about million millions of investment, but they are very interested in, in finding. Uh, cooperation partners in finding somebody who wants to 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 get the products to to develop uh, projects together. It depends if it's it's a project business or it's it's a normal trade business. We help them in marketing issues like we organize 
sometimes also together with the trade commissioners, like uh, on fairs. We organize sales pools so they, they get into the business. We have our own database. So if you are looking for products or you have a project, please send it to us. We have our database and this goes out then by newsletter each week to our clients. We have a client database of about 1,000 lower Austrian companies. And each week they get any demand that comes from our five, now with Bulgaria, six markets. Um, we also try to, to get our companies to get more into the countries, to participate in public tenders, to, to, to even to, to get really a, uh, an office there, a sales office to find their partners. Uh, we also help them if they want to invest to get funds here because this is always an important issue. So any help from you so that we can have this network, that we can help the, the companies to get into the market is very, very helpful and welcome. Uh, I don't want to talk about stats, but just look at the diagram. And what I see here is that we still have, these are the lower Austrian export stats, not the Austrians, that there is still potential. Just look on the, on the size of the, <laughs> of the diagram. We see that the Czech Republic is the third most important export market of Lower Austria uh, after Germany and, and Italy. And Bulgaria, there must be potential because from the size, whatever, we can compare it easily with countries like Slovakia or Hungary. There is, there is much potential to develop in this field. And for this, we are here. We are here together with uh, European Management Center. Uh, of course, where are, let's say, the thematic focus of our, of our plans here is there where we have strong, our own competences, where our companies are strong, where we are strong. It's in energy and environment fields. We have companies already now. They are looking for, looking into the market. They want to get into the market. Uh, it's Energy, energy efficiency, um, every, anything that has to do with the um, construction business, but mostly in the field really getting into energy efficiency. We have our own cluster in this field, so we are well prepared for this. Of course, everything is mechatronic, machinery, uh, etc., but also the um, uh, agricultural technology and um, food technology, and it was said today already is also, of course, in the field of tourism. There is a lot to do in this field from very different perspectives, I would say, and, and lessons to learn and interesting views to exchange. Uh, we are very open to any projects or demands, and we consider them. We try to figure out what we can do in the interest of both sides. There are many possibilities to do something together. We as EcoPlus are not signing any contract. We can only help that business starts and uh, that Bulgarian and Low Austrian companies work more closely together. Uh, help us, we are very open to it. And uh, we have one person here who is the person you can contact anytime uh, is Mr. Mokriev, he's standing here. So he speaks Bulgarian. So it will be much easier for you. Uh, I put here, but I will not repeat this, some facts and figures about uh, EcoPlus that you get in uh, view. What is EcoPlus? What, what is the size of it? It's a medium-sized company. We have about 80 employees. Uh, we have different fields. Uh, we are... We are very focusing on companies, on the development of the, of the economy in Lower Austria. Once again, you have everything here. If we can talk afterwards, you can contact me if you want, or you can contact in Bulgaria and Mr. Mokriev, and I would be very glad that we develop now the Bulgarian Lower Austrian businesses so that the diagram of Bulgaria goes up. Huh? Thank you very much.